beautiful October day here in San Antonio and we're going to Cisco facility with our management team. Have you ever thought how inside of huge food distributors like Cisco or Benny Keith or US Foods and what have you, how they look like? Uh, I know you probably work with a supplier, it could be maybe Restaurant Depot, what have you, all of them, they have huge, huge warehouses, a lot of logistics that happens behind the scene to service restaurants. And this morning we had the pleasure of touring Cisco facility, really meeting with their facilities manager. I don't know exactly what his title was, but up there really managing the facility. They have hundreds of employees from pickers and packers and loaders, the inbound and the outbound pallets and pallets of food, thousands of cases. I think it's like 60 plus thousand cases that are in and out of the warehouse. It is fascinating logistics uh, that it takes to make all of these happen. Uh, first off, got to meet with the gentleman who explained everything to us a little bit, kind of how it works logistically behind the scenes, how they have to scan every single box. So we really wanted to, our managers to see what is all the logistics that happen behind the scene to, you know, service uh, our restaurants, obviously. It was awesome. I obviously love anything industrial engineering. And obviously afterwards, Cisco fed us a steak lunch. It was very nice. They have a chef, of course, all suppliers, anybody you work with, they have a chef on staff that can help you with, you know, recipe development or taste, taste some products and things of that nature. But their chef, Chef Dustin, thank you so much. He uh, prepped a pretty salad. It was a seasoned salad with shaved parmesan and bacon pieces and then also you know we had steak it was very good and a divinely delicious cheesecake it was a creme brulee cheesecake why am i telling you all this because it's important for you to get out of the restaurant take your managers out go out and see what what is going on out there and above all else i want to tell you this how important it is the meaning behind the meaningless work that sometimes our people feel like oh you know it's we're washing dishes we're moving you know we're making a batch of dough you're making a pizza you're sweeping you're mopping it's an enormous amount of work or for me you know since i handle the marketing with our restaurants you know you think about getting every single customer and the amount of work that that is it's a lot of work to convert every single customer to come to our restaurant and to adapt uh, you know pizzas let go of who they were loyal to and become loyal to us. It's a lot of work. And ultimately what the meaning there is that if we don't get those customers, if we don't serve them those foods, all those individuals who work in those warehouses, whether it's their drivers, their truck drivers, their pickers, they move stuff around the sales rep, these are hundreds and hundreds and thousands of jobs are created because of the restaurant industry, because we go get the customers and we feed them. And I think it's just fascinating a microeconomy within the macro economy that restaurants that we create, not only we create jobs within our restaurants, of course, you know, in ours, you know, we're proud about that, that we create up to 100 jobs. That's a privilege and an honor. Um, that's awesome. I mean, to be able to do that and we don't take that lightly we're hoping that we can 20 exit soon in the next five to six years but not only those jobs that we create as restaurants in our communities but also again the warehouse people and from there you know the farmers that have to provide all the produce or the meat packing people and obviously all the truck drivers that need to move all the stuff from the whether it's from the farm to the facilities and from the facilities to the restaurants those are thousands and thousands of jobs because you and i decided to go and open a restaurant and go hire our staff go get the customers service the customers handle the customer concerns, answer those reviews and run profitable operations and continue to grow and help our micro economy. So I salute you for that. If you are in the restaurant business, I salute you. I respect you. And uh, let's go and take over the world together. Bye-bye.